Spoilers. 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 I like that word. I thought you might. Hello everyone and welcome to another Did You Know? One of the things the TARDIS is perhaps best known for is its appearance, that of a police telephone box, which it took on the shape of after landing in London in 1963. However, at the beginning of its next adventure, it retains this shape, much to the surprise of the Doctor and Susan. It's still a police box. Should have changed. And subsequently, it has generally kept this shape throughout the series history, although it has been known to vary its police box style, and on rare occasion has actually changed its shape entirely due to outside influences trying to fix the chameleon circuit. However, even though at times it seemed possible to fix it... You know you can fix that chameleon circuit if you just tried hot binding the fragment links and superseding the binary, 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 binary... Even the Doctor himself would admit on occasion he didn't really know what was wrong with it. What, it's a police box every time? It's probably a bit of a fault, actually. I, I've been meaning to check. And after looking into it, you might be surprised to learn that for almost 50 years, despite there being hints and references as to what happened to it, a detailed explanation of how and why it broke has never been given. At least until 2013. The comic Hunters of the Burning Stone sees the 11th Doctor reunited with Ian and Barbara in 1965. But without revealing too much of the plot for those who want to read it, the story reveals that as part of his plot to foil the Prometheans, the 11th Doctor travelled back to 1963, entered his first incarnation's TARDIS before it left London, and deliberately sabotaged the chameleon circuit to stay fixed in the shape of a police box, in order to imprint the image of a blue box onto the race memory of humanity. And according to some sources, this act may have also had some unintended consequences. Whilst some people discount the canonicity of the comics, this does actually fit into the narrative of things that have been previously said. As in the minisode, Meanwhile in the TARDIS, the 11th Doctor says that whilst the chameleon circuit is still functioning normally, the TARDIS will always disguise itself as a police telephone box from 1963. Every time the TARDIS materialises in a new location, within the first nanosecond of landing, it analyses its surroundings, calculates a 12-dimensional data map of everything within a thousand mile radius, and determines which outer shell would blend in best with the environment and then it disguises itself as a police telephone box from 1963. Now, the clip I showed earlier of the 11th Doctor stating that he doesn't know why it's been doing that also comes from this minisode, and this minisode takes place before the events of Hunters of the Burning Stone. Suggesting that knowing his previous selves would try to fix the chameleon circuit at some point, the 11th Doctor in Hunters of the Burning Stone broke it in such a manner that would render their attempts pointless. Which would explain things like how the 6th Doctor's attempt to fix it in Attack of the Cybermen it seemed to work, but later failed. Regardless, once again, it's nice to have another narrative gap filled, and I personally like the idea that once again the Doctor is responsible for an event in his own past. But that brings to a close another Did You Know. As always, I hope you all enjoy this video. Like, friend, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. Be sure to go to the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so and funding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all and I will see you with another video very soon.